Yeah, I think there's some of that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I just think it was one of those situations we felt like he's a good player and is there something he can do to help us contribute and help us win? And, uh, you know, he just has a little different element than Cardell. Coach, I get asked a lot about the play calling mechanics and how it works now. Coach seemed to allude a couple of weeks ago that you were, would be more involved or mm -hmm. have a feel for what he wants. How, how does it go now? You know, it's a, it's a learn, I mean, learning. It's a, obviously it's a progress or a process like everything else. And, uh, you know, it's by committee, certainly. We have great coaches, Ed Warner, outstanding offense coordinator. And uh, Ed and I have always worked well together and we continue to do so. And all our suggestions between series, we get ideas, Zach Smith, Tim Hinton, Tony Alford, uh, and Coach Meyer. And we, we kind of, hey, here's a good plan. This is what we want to do to try to attack them. And then, uh, then we just go from there. So, um, you know, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been interesting, to say the least. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I feel like I'm getting more comfortable and understanding things a lot better. And uh, we seem to be operating a little bit more smoother. With you being who, pulls box, yeah. who pulls the trigger? I mean, as far as what makes the call? Uh, ultimately, right now, the voice is mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that the original plan, or when did that change? Um, you know, I think it's something they've done here. I think through Tom, the, whoever the coach is in the press box. I, I don't know that it's um, anything to take away from any other coach. It's just I'm upstairs. I see things. I'm away from the. The crowd, the players, the noise, you don't get the emotion necessarily drawn into it um, as you do when you're down on the sidelines. You're in that solitary booth and you can think things through. You have the playlist right in front of you. It's, and uh, the suggestions, we write them down in between series and, and uh, I, just, I just verbalize it to them. Tim, what did you see from the offense Saturday that maybe had been missing the several previous weeks? Uh, was there a more of a consistency? What, what just sort of like stuck out to you well, got the job done. I thought we didn't turn the ball over, yeah. which was number one, which was huge. I think even in those earlier games, there had been some really bright spots, but we were turning the ball over and not finishing drives. I thought we were better at that this game. Um, I thought, obviously, in the red zone, we found ways to neutralize the loaded boxes and things like that mm -hmm. to allow us to get points on the board. Uh, touchdowns as opposed to settling for field goals. So I think those two things stood out the most. You've been around quarterbacks a lot. What, what is it that JT, has, he does seem to have a knack, you know, for finding the seam or whatever you want to call it when he's running. Uh, right. What stands out to you about him just in that particular kind of 20 yard box? There? Yeah, I think you described it. He just kind of has a knack. You know, I don't know if you could put a, a finger on it or actually even describe it. He just has a way of, of fitting in to where the holes are and reading the reading the plays as he's running.